Hey YouTube, welcome. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the uh, process of how to stream with two PCs using z no capture cards, and that's the way I go ahead and have my setup. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have no capture card when I do my streaming. I use two PCs, um, both connected to my home network, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started, okay? So first I do have the 64-bit Windows version of OBS running 20.0.1, all right? And the first thing I you wanna go ahead and do is you wanna go ahead and use the NDI plugin uh, installer, which I am gonna go ahead and give the uh, download link down in the description. Um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and what it looks like here, you're gonna go, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna click download now okay and then it's gonna take you down to the downloads page and you and you wanna click on the version 4.1.2 so you're gonna click on that and let it download and when it does download you're gonna wanna click on it it's, it is right here on my desktop and it's a very uh, standard install you're gonna just wanna click next all the way through and the PC might ask you to restart okay once you get the uh, everything loaded, restarted, and OBS restarted, uh, underneath tools, all right, there is a setting called NDI output settings. From here, you're gonna click on NDI output settings, and the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna enable NDI output, okay? And also, you wanna give it an output name, which in this case, this is my gaming PC, so I did go ahead and name it Game PC. Okay, and that is it for right now. As I, I want you to take note that my OBS isn't isn't streaming. It isn't it isn't encoding anything. It's not doing anything, but it's just running. That's all it's doing. It's running. I just clicked it, and it's running uh, without even clicking anything. You don't need to set anything else up on this PC. Okay, these this is where I have all my all my scenes for the games okay and the next thing you want to do is either you want to get onto your other PC that is right next to you in this case the way I do it is I do a remote desktop connection into my stream PC as you can see my name my name of my PC is called stream I am gonna connect to it okay and now we are in my streaming PC okay I want I want to show you guys here this is my streaming PC. I am remoted into it, so there is no screen connect to it. I have a remote desktop, re, excuse me, remote desktop connection right into my stream PC. And uh, this lets you know this is the PC that does all the encoding and it shoots it up to wherever you're going to be streaming, you know, Twitch, YouTube, uh, Mixer, whatever your preference is, okay? What you're going to want to go ahead and do is on the stream PC is you're going to want to go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and install the NDI plugin like we did before. And same thing here. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and do tools and output settings. And you're going to want to make sure that this isn't enabled, okay? Because your, your output is your gaming PC, which is right here. This is our OBS running on the game PC and inside of here on our streaming PC uh, we want to go ahead and um, make sure this is not enabled okay so if you can see here um, I'm gonna go ahead and for the tutorial purposes this is gonna go away so I am gonna remove this okay I'm gonna go ahead and want to add and right here you can see where it says NDI plugin uh, excuse me NDI source so you're gonna want to click on that and you're gonna want to create new. Uh, this could be game PC, okay? And you're gonna wanna hit okay. And if you do notice, look, over here, I'm gonna show you we're back on the gaming PC. Right here, I remember your output setting was called game PC. Well, right here on our streaming PC is the game PC. And you leave all these unchecked, okay? You hit okay and there you go and as you can see I want to I want to show you guys how instant it is look I'm gonna raise my hand look it's instant going to my streaming and this is over my network 
This is over my network. This is from one PC to the next using my network. They're all hardwired into a router, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is on here, you're gonna, under your uh, settings, it, this is gonna be your favorite uh, OBS settings. And as you can see, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go video. Um, again, as I'm using a base canvas of 720. I'm using uh, the sharpen scaling 16 samples by cubic. I'm doing 60 frames a second. Um, my process is normal. Everything is else is uh, is standard of your OBS settings. Okay, I am streaming at 3,000 um, bit rate. I'm using very fast since this is the only thing running on this PC is OBS, so I can use that. In I can push the. Uh, processor a little harder to encode my video to give it better quality okay so um, again and right now all I have to do is hit start streaming and it's gonna send it up to your favorite uh, streaming site and that is pretty much it how we go ahead and do it remember I am I am not using a capture card and my videos come out just fine I don't get no lag. My audio is amazing. Um, this NDI plugin is amazing. If you guys have any questions, um, if you guys want me to do a video on how to set up your network to do that, I can. Um, you know, I just, I found it easier for me to go ahead and do it this way, I'm not using a capture card. Uh, it does save stress on my gaming PC. I do get more frames in all my games. Um, takes less stress off my gaming PC. Uh, you know, they are lots of money. So, again, this is uh, how to stream using NDI plugins, using OBS, uh, no capture card. Please like, subscribe, please comment down and below. And I hope you guys see you soon. Happy streaming.